On Wednesday this week, authorities reported that they had recovered the body of a young lady in Witedia, Georgia, Kiambu County. A day later, the body will be identified as that of Catherine Nyokabi Gitonga. The body, according to detectives, it had serious injuries and had been badly mutilated. Some of her body parts were also missing. At the scene where the body was stressed in this thicket, a vehicle registered to an Evans Karani was recovered. The car had been abandoned just a few meters from where the body was. In about 150 meters from the motor vehicle, there was the body of a woman lying. On a close examination, we found the body had multiple injuries that we strongly felt they had been inflicted by an assailant. Investigations will later place the owner of the car at the center of the gruesome murder. Karani was tracked and arrested with the police intimating that they will charge him with the murder. We coordinated several teams and uh, eventually we were able to apprehend the main suspect by the name of Evans Karani. It later emerged that Evans and the deceased had been dating for a while before they separated. However, sources privy to the investigation revealed they were rekindling recently the relationship. This is a, a case of a crime of passion. And my appeal to any member of public or young people that whenever they have a problem in their relationship, they look up for an adult person whom they can trust, maybe religious leaders or the clan leaders or parents, so that they can assist them to solve their issues. Detectives are trying to unravel why Evans committed the heinous crime. According to the family, Catherine had told them that she was going to meet Evans on Tuesday in a bid to sort out their differences. This will be the last time she was seen alive. The incident has seen gone viral in Kenya with many asking questions over the murder. Her body has since been moved to the city mortuary awaiting burial arrangements. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.